I'm Sean McAuliffe, I'm from uh, Newcastle West in Limerick. So I've recently completed my PhD and uh, I'm working in private practice and I've been working with Claire this year. I, if we're training at 7 o'clock, I'd have to be able to be here maybe about quarter to six, give or take, and the players will kind of arrive in about ten past quarter to six, but you kind of have to get set up for the night ahead, so you're normally there an hour before the lads arrive. Um, the hour before training is supposed to start, so if seven o'clock start on the field, players arrive in around six-ish, we have to do the strappings, rubs, assessments. Because there's a lot of colleges going on, this seems to be a busier time of year. So once the league kind of knocks around then in championship and the sun starts to shine, everyone's in better form. And I suppose our overall <coughs> training load and match load would reduce. It's just this year it tends to be a bit busier with Munster League, Fitzgibbon Cup, and we also have to do our pre-season training as well. So it tends to be the time where we tend to see most injuries, um, and then they tend to clear up as the summer goes on. Lads have to be out in the field for, for 10 to 7 regardless of whether you're injured or not. So if you are injured you bring gear to training and, and we're out in the field with the lads or inside here in the gym doing rehab. So unfortunately there's no, uh, there's no shortcuts and as some of the lads said sometimes it's nearly easier to train than being on the sideline doing, doing all the rehab and conditioning work that they have to do. It's probably the volume of, of training that matches are there and I think that's probably the biggest issue in GA. whereas if you look at something compared to soccer or rugby, they'll probably go week to week, they'll train twice a week and they'll have a game at the weekend and they'll probably play with the one team. Unfortunately with GA we have <coughs> minors, under 21s, seniors, colleges, inter-county, club sides, they have a lot of games, a lot of training and, and that volume, that big jump in volume at around January, February, March tends to be the time where we'll see kind of most hamstring injuries or most groins or ankles sprains, that kind of small niggly things and that's just a case of their of what we would say their training load has jumped up too quickly. So a lot of times it's about management of that load, being smart about how you train and how you play but also then we'd have them in the gym here so the reason that Kelvin our strength conditioning coach and me would have the lads in the gym isn't so they can look big and strong and fill their jerseys for want of a better word, it's it's to make them strong enough to be able to tolerate the lots of training that they're doing at the moment. So for club players I think it's a case of manage your training load and number two, make sure you're strong enough to, to tolerate the amount of training that you're doing at this time of year really sensibly.